I think we uh, unfortunately looked like a team that had um, had a couple of days to, to, to get back in and you sometimes hope when mistakes happen, a couple of mistakes happened uh, tonight that, that put us in a tough spot that the opposition don't punish you, which they did. Uh, I thought Sky Blue did a great job tonight. They moved the ball well, they were dangerous, they were very penetrative with their passing and uh, Sam Kerr and, and the rest of the crew there were hard to deal with. Um, so we, we won at our best and you know that's what's great about this league, even when you play at home, when you're not at your best um, as a team, as a collective unit, you can lose games, you can concede goals. Uh, so credit to Sky Blue, I thought they thought they did a super job. They love playing here. They got a good record in this stadium and um, they showed again tonight. So it's a, it's a massive opportunity for us that I know we're gonna embrace, massive opportunity to get ready to learn, get ready to grow from this, get ready to get better, not waste a split second doing anything that doesn't help us move forward to get ready for a, a tough road game against Washington. What are some specific ways the international break Impacted all your well, I think it's the same for Sky Blue. So I don't want to, I uh, don't, you know, they they probably would have a bit sloppy in some areas that that they're not normally sloppy. Um, our strength is being a very collective team, and you knew that you, you knew that we won't be as close and connected as we were um, defensively as we normally are. At the same time, you kind of hope you don't get punished. So I don't want to look at that. I, I think that's the same for both teams. Um, both teams have players coming coming from uh, European time zones and over to the to the West Coast. Um, I thought I just thought that uh, when we did make those mistakes, they were ready to get at us, and um, we work hard to make sure that the big ones don't happen, and they do come from things that we're normally good at. So it's it's easy. I'm not too honestly not too stressed about um, us learning and moving from this, um, and and also when things like this, how do we make quicker uh, improvements during the game next time? You know, not wait until not wait until now. It's a little bit easier to analyze. How can we all make sure we keep doing the things that we knew were going to score us goals tonight? Um, so it was a tough one. It was a tough emotional one, and um, unfortunately, we got caught the wrong end of, of not being at our best. At the same time, I think that's why I love coaching in the best league in the world. I love being a part of what the NWSL is about, that, that this can happen at any night, home or away, when, when you don't play the, the soccer you know that you want to and can play.